already. Um, I'm just letting you guys know, full disclosure, right off the bat, that my face is breaking out so badly. Um, it's probably because I've been on antibiotics for the past um, like month nonstop because of my surgery. Um, but I've been trying everything and it hasn't been going away, so just um, bear with me. Um, also, I reorganized my bookshelf to fit all my hair products. It's two full shelves full of every single hair product that I own um, because it was taking over my bathroom and I no longer could function. So now it's displayed so beautifully on these shelves and I might do a video on like a little tour of my product shelf once it expands a little bit more but this is just seven months of being on my natural hair journey and I have accumulated two full shelves with products and this it was difficult to fit them and um yeah so this week I wanted to do a video that was about something that I have in my life that I really love and I know that um, other young women have it as well. I don't know if it's like widely practiced anymore to have these things, but um, what it is, is my hope chest. Now growing up, I've always known that my mom has a hope chest and she like has it in her room and she keeps like gift, gift, she keeps wrapping paper and like, uh, gift wrapping supplies or like excess fabric or she just keeps a bunch of random crap in there that I've it's just always been called her hope chest that's what she's always called it and I've just learned over the years that it's just like that's that's what young women young women get a, a chest that is their hope chest and you put um just various types of things in it now if some of you guys don't know what a hope chest is I did a little bit of research because I actually didn't know much about the origins of this tradition. Um, so I just went on Wikipedia and did a quick little search. So um, let's read what I found on Wikipedia. A hope chest is also called a dowry chest, cedar chest, trousseau chest, or glory box. It's a piece of furniture traditionally used to collect items such as clothing and household linen by unmarried young women in anticipation of married life. The term hope chest or cedar chest is used in the Midwest or South of the United States, where I live. In the United Kingdom, the term is bottom drawer, while both terms and glory box are used by women in Australia. That's interesting to know because growing up, I never knew if this is like a worldwide thing or if this is just like a southern thing or an american thing i don't know the hope chest was often used for the firstborn girl of a family instead of just having sheets and household linen in the bottom drawer this box would transport these goods and dowries and then later would be used as a standard piece of furniture for the lady of the house to use this dowry chest often was richly decorated however over time dowry chests gradually became smaller with jewelry boxes emerging instead of dowry boxes so apparently the collection of a trousseau, or um, just like a accumulation of things that you would put in a hope chest, was a common coming of age rite until approximately the 1950s. Such a chest was an acceptable gift for a girl approaching a marriageable age. Me, an 18 year old girl. So I wanted to make a video about my hope chest because I love it so much, especially because it was made for me um, by my papa, um, who is very skilled in um, woodworking, and he made it for me for my high school graduation present, and it's absolutely beautiful. I love it so much. It's right by the windows in my room, and it has like a very pretty green cushion on top, and green is my favorite color. I don't know if he knew that or not, but it works out perfectly because green is my favorite color. So. I'm just gonna give you guys like a little tour of my hope chest and just kind of like show you like the beautiful like the woodworking and like the cushion and as well as some of the contents that I already have in it. Now I like I don't everything in it is not necessarily meant for marriage life. That's not what a hope chest has to be. Sometimes a hope chest is just like things that a young lady might want to 
save for when she grows grows up and moves out of the house and wants to just make sure that it's like you wouldn't need these things in your parents house so it's like it's like kitchenware um fabric tea cozies you know like um blankets any anything anything that you could think of um maybe some yarn i don't know i just know what i have in mind and a lot of it was graduation gifts and some of it um is some things that i got for christmas a couple years back that i wanted to keep and now i finally have a place to keep them safe so um without further ado let's jump right into the hope chest okay so here we are this is my hope chest and um i don't actually know what kind of wood this is but i do know that um all of the pieces and everything the design everything was handmade by my papa um and um it was stained by him this cushion i don't know if he got some help from my from my nana but i do know that my nana and papa actually own a church chair business um they make chairs for for churches and like church services and everything so um they i think they know a little something about upholstery and things like that so but this is the beautiful green and i'm gonna go ahead and open up this bad boy okay so some of this stuff is really heavy and I'm going to have to wait until I can change the camera to look at it. But some of it I can just pick up and show you. So, um, one of these things, um, I got this from my grandma um, for my graduation. These are some, uh, some little knitted or crocheted, I don't really know, um, little hot pads, little tea cozy things. And they're pink and they're in the shape of a flower and it has a little note from my grandma. Okay, so these actually, yes, these actually belonged to my great-grandmother, my grandma's mom, um, my dad's mom's mom, and she says in the note that she thought that her mom would want me to have these, and I love them, and knowing that they're like historical and sentimental makes me just make sure that I'm going to take great care of them and cherish them forever. Um, I also have the scrap fabric from the top. Um, they left it in here. Um, maybe I wanted to make a, like a like a matching throw pillow to go along with this or something. Whatever it is, I have it with me just in case I want to do something with it. Okay, so um, I have three Pioneer Woman accessories because I love her cooking show. Um, so these are some little, um, they're measuring cups, um, but they're from the show, The Pioneer Woman, or they're by her, and I love them so much. They have like these little flowery designs on them, and they're ceramic, and I can't wait to use them. <laughs> the next Pioneer Woman accessory that I have are, um, some mixing bowls. Um, these are some very beautiful ceramic mixing bowls. Um, there is three of them, uh, a red one, a blue one, and a yellow one, and they just come in a big, a medium, and a small size. And I love them so much because they have like these little floral print on the outside, and these are going to be really cute to use in my new place when I move out. God, they're heavy, oh my God. Either they're heavy or I'm super weak. It's probably the latter. The last Pioneer Woman accessory is this knife. Um, I saw it on the show and I wanted it so bad. Um, it's, it's, like, it's like a mix between a chef's knife and a cleaver. So it's like square on the top and it's got the little like aerated um, divots in it and it's just got this really nice handle. I saw her using it on the show and I was like, oh my God, that looks so cool, I want that. So um, my mom got it for me for Christmas and it's just sitting in here and I'm saving it until I can use it in my very own kitchen. I also have a little candle. I don't know who this is from. Um, I, don't, I don't remember who it's from, but 
because I've, I've apparently lost the note or the card that came with it, but this is definitely a gift from someone, but I don't remember, but whoever it was, I appreciate it. Ooh, and it smells very nice. Don't, I really don't know how to describe the scent. It just smells like fall. Everything in here is basically just like, it's off limits until I move out, because that's what it's for. This is from my grandma. This is basically just like an entire like synopsis of my life. Like she has all these pictures and she put little captions with all the pictures and it's basically just like, oh my God. Okay, like the first picture is my baby shower. <gasps> oh my God, that's so cool. And then like my birth. Oh my God, it's my whole life. I looked through this when I first got it, when I graduated, but I haven't looked through it in a while. Oh my God, that's so sweet. Oh. <laughs> Dude, okay, I have to look at this more often. Dude, and then my graduation picture. All the way from my baby shower to my graduation. This is literally too much for me. Thanks again, grandma. I got this from my Nana, I'm pretty sure. This is like a little, like a little cookbook stand. Um, for recipes in the kitchen you can like set it like the book on this little thing and open it and just like have it setting up so you can read it easier so and you can also use it for like an iPad or something <laughs> if you want I don't have an iPad but you could also use it for that um I got this for my Nana as well um this is just like a little cute little framed like choose joy um she said that she picked it because it just reminded her of me and that I'm always joyful and happy or something. That's very sweet. I want to show these. I'll add in a shot of what they are. Um, these are my two enameled cast iron Dutch ovens. Um, they're so beautiful and I love them so much. Uh, I also saw these on Pioneer Woman. And my mom has them in gray. And I was like, oh my gosh, I would love to have those. And my mom got them for me for my graduation. And they're red and they're so beautiful. And I'm so excited to cook with them in my new place. So this is the last item. I'm saving it for last because it is um, actually superior to everything else in here. Um, it is the one thing that I am so excited to be able to whip it out and use it once I move out. Oh my God. Okay, so this is a king size luxury Afghan blanket. It, um, this was hand knitted by my grandma and it took her like years to make it. And like she made this entire thing by hand and this is king sized and it is very luxurious and it's got these very like intricate um, patterns and all these panels. Dude, it's so, it's so amazing. I love it so much. Um, my grandma actually made one of these for my brother as well when he graduated. Uh, we actually still have his um, and it took her years to make that one as well but since me and my sister are graduating back to back she had to kind of like make mine and hers like simultaneously so she's making one for her as well I don't really remember what colors she picked but I actually got to pick these colors of yarn when I was like in middle school and I actually remember going with her to like um, Michael's or wherever it was to pick out the yarn and I, I picked these colors because they're just very warm and like like there's like a mixture of like wine burgundy and like bright kind of like candy apple red and then just like a cream color and then black and gray and I just feel like these are just really warm cozy colors and they've always kind of reminded me of home because um a lot of motifs in my house is like deep reds and cream colors and like taupes and beiges and they're just very like like warm and cozy it's basically just like earth tones with pop of red and 
So I'm very happy with my choice and it came out absolutely beautiful. It came out so much like, like wildly insane than I could have thought. Like this is so amazing. My grandma made this like, and I, she's the knitting master. I thought I was good at knitting, but like, wow. Like, how do you even do this? I don't, like these are basically just like little panels, like little, like, like three or four inch panels. I don't know how you do this like diagonal knit. That's so crazy. I love it so much. And this is like my, this is literally my favorite thing in here. And I can't wait to use it. Um, there's no way I'd use it in this house because my dogs would find a way to destroy it. But um, yeah, I'm so excited to have this in my house and use it on my bed in the colder months. I love it so much. And I know my grandma is not watching this video, but I love you grandma and thank you for this blanket because it is awesome and you're awesome for making it. Let's go back to the corner, shall we? All right, I'm hoping this is the same chat as before. So that was it. I just, I, the reason I made this video is because in my last video I talked about making more content that is just more about me and more personal and just more genuine and just stuff that I want to make and stuff that I would enjoy watching. So that's what this was. So even if no one cares about this video, I do and I have it forever on the internet to watch for myself and to show to family members if I feel like it. If you haven't already, you should go check out my Instagram. I post about my YouTube channel and about my hair almost every single day. And um, I also post updates to make sure that if I'm doing something on my YouTube channel, you are the first to hear about it if you're following me on Instagram, of course. So go check that out. Make sure and give this video a thumbs up because that tells YouTube that it's a good video and that they should show it to others. So even if you didn't like it, you should just give me a like anyway out of pure charity and pity. And last but not least, please subscribe to my channel if you care about um, little old ladies who are 18 years old just living life and doing their thing and just having a fun time. If wholesome content is your jam, then I'm your gal. I make videos every single Wednesday, so I'm gonna be here every single week. So you can check out my old videos. And if you want another video, then there's gonna be another one on Wednesday. So thank you for watching this, if you even got this far in the video. So I'm gonna stop talking now and I'm gonna say goodbye. See you next Wednesday.